Hello and welcome back to Joe's Math Tools. In our session today, we will be converting a mixed fraction into degrees and this is part two on this conversion. And in this session, we will be converting our fraction into degrees by separating our parts. So if you're ready to see how this is done, let's get started. So in our session today, we are going to be converting our fraction 3 and 2 fifths. And you know we've been working with this fraction for quite a bit in several of our videos. Uh, we are going to be converting this into degrees by multiplying it to 360 degrees. Remember that whenever you are converting a fraction into degrees, we always do this by multiplying it to 360, which is a full revolution for our angles. So let's get started. Now in this session, we're going to be separating our parts to convert this into degrees. So that means I'm separating my whole number and my fractional part, and I'm going to be multiplying both of those parts to 360. So I will be multiplying my three holes times 360 degrees. And I also will be multiplying my fraction of two fifths to 360 degrees. And so after we have multiplied the whole number part to our 360 and our fractional part to 360, we will then come back and add the two parts together to find out the full sum of our, our fraction three and two fifths when it is converted to degrees. So this is just an alternative method that you can use to change your fraction to degrees. So we know that we have three whole parts and that three whole parts means that I have three of these 360 degrees that has been changed into our degrees. So my 360, I will multiply that by three and three times zero is three is zero. 3 times 6 is 18, put our 8 carry to 1, then 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is equal to 10. So my 3 holds when it's changed into degrees is 1080 degrees. So I'm going to write that in. So let me put here first my 3. Remember that 3 and 2 fifths something means that 3 holds is being added to 2 fifths. So that is my 1080 degrees being added to and let's do our proper fraction conversion to see what my proper fraction is as it is changed to degrees so for this part i will be doing my simplification so i am simplifying my fraction first so my five will divide into five once and then when i divide five into 360 degrees i know that five goes into 35 once into 36 ones, and then five will go into my 10, which will give me 72 degrees. So now I will be taking my 72 degrees and multiplying it by two, and this will equal to 144 degrees. So now I'm going to take that 144 degrees, replace my fraction to fifth, with those degrees and now I'm going to simply add those two numbers together to find out the sum of my degrees when this fraction is converted. So 0 plus 4 is equal to 4, 8 plus 4 is equal to 12, we put our 2, carry our 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 and then we will bring down the last 1. So the sum of my degrees is 1224 degrees. And we saw that in the first part when we also converted this fraction into degrees by simply taking the improper fraction step, we got the exact same answer. So this is just an alternative method that you can use. And remember that you have to pick the method that works best for you. Maybe this one is easier for you, maybe the other one is. So whichever method is that works best for you, use that method. Play to your strength, but still always practice new skills as well. And when you're ready to learn some new set, remember that you can always return back to Jules Math Tools where we make math 
easy.